Hey there guys and welcome back to yet another episode of Nintendo Tales in which I do a better intro than I did when it was cut out because I really forgot what I was saying. But this time, we are going to jump in and get Diddy. All right. Because, yeah, Yumi's just going with it because this is good. <laughs> okay. We're going we're gonna to get Diddy. Now, as I mentioned a four time, but you didn't hear it because you weren't listening. <laughs> We're not gonna do Lanky's Bananas again, because no. that would be boring. We spent like the past three episodes doing that. Uh, there was a portal right Oh my goodness, a Zynga. The a Zynga. Zynga, here he comes. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I, first of all, I'm really unsorted because I'm excited. I've been waiting for this point for years. You years. see, You see, I have uh, LP DK64 before. Yeah. It was, there was this channel, I don't know if it's still around, it was called Legendary Gamers HD. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was kind yeah, of this yeah. closed group, and I was a part of it, just saying it, it was yeah, like cool. super famous. And, uh, I did a DK64 LP on there. That's what I wanted. Um, and it was like, it only lasted for five episodes, something like that. I think I had just gotten angry Aztec or something like that, but I didn't, I didn't get very far. But my favorite level of the game is the next one. And, and um, we are going to be going to it, but first we have to get past this menacing boss. This boss right in there. D this boss. He is the boss. And um, I actually haven't fought him in years, so we're going to see how it goes. Oh yeah, look, we just got the banana is fresh for Wait, banana metal here. Um, this thing tells you, I think, if you've gotten... Well, who gave what to who? Nobody gave anything right now. Okay. Okay. So that's for, like, uh, keeping track of your bank accounts, like, uh, yeah. later in the game it may get more complicated, but I never use that stuff. You know, I bet Scoff would be a pretty secure bank. I don't think you could get your bananas back very easily. No, in fact, there'd be a few problems with that. But anyway, he is growing very large from eating our bananas, and now... Whoa. He could totally reach it if he tried, he just doesn't want to. Well, he kind of tried there, a little bit. He tried a little bit, but it was like a, it was a lazy try. So, Diddy's uh, big buddy DK. is gonna have to feed him the rest of the bananas to get up there and unlock that key. I was kind of, I never really liked it that your banana count would go down, because yeah. I was always a perfectionist and that just didn't seem right. Anyway, you guys, here we go. Um, he's... You turn the key with basically not touching it. Who will it be? Who will it be? The question mark. Oh, it's gonna- Oh, no. Tis Diddy. You thought we could go in there as a question mark. <laughs> They're being misleading. That is pretty misleading, because oh. it never does pick a question mark. Here we go. Um, and DK's gonna freak out, because he already did it last time. And, and he knows. <laughs> Yumi did that last time, so this is the first boss battle that I'll be doing in this series. I honestly- Some Magic sparkles fly around. Whoa, that, that is was, terrifying. That is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting out of here. That, that's, that's pretty creepy. Okay. <sighs> that's creepy as this. Diddy face. Okay. Now, watch this cutscene carefully and you'll learn a lesson about life, kids. TNT. If you spawn in the middle of a TNT room, it's not good. Oh, there's the boss. It's a dragonfly. Ooh. A little dragonfly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, Diddy killed it. Okay, that's it. Where's the key? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, apparently that was a child of whatever this thing is. A big dragonfly. Here we go. Okay, so I've been practicing a Splatoon a lot lately, so this couldn't phase me, I don't think. I would hope not. Uh, this was always one of my favorite parts of uh, my childhood, because I think it was really cool. He's like scolding oh, him, and, and he's just he like, like oh. falls right down into there, boy. But he comes back out, just like in it's Splatoon. Like, oh snap, it is like Splatoon. This could be a Splatoon boss. I know. Um, so is his only attack blowing fireballs? Um, I think so. Oh, wow. Okay. But he switches and he does another corner each time. Yeah, so... So, uh, your attack pattern, I mean, your defense pattern is going to be running back and forth and then grabbing it as soon as he's done with his certain number of thingamajigs or whatever. He's actually a pretty simple boss. Um, oh, he is only the have... second one. I know, he gets harder. You actually fight him again, so... <gasps> you weren't I'm sorry, to I hesitated. Did you hear that? Yeah, but, but then you But did. nobody cares about Ooh, spoilers you got a hit I there. did move ahead. But not, you died on yours, so... Well, yeah, but... <laughs> well, yeah, but you got a hit. <laughs> you okay. didn't keep a perfect yeah. record. I'm sorry. I will keep a perfect record after this. I will not get hit again. Because I gotta grab my TNT and just be like, Yo! Boom! Uh, death! That's sad. That was really sad. No, it's not death. You just said so. Oh, yeah. 
Here we go. I was just trying to throw them off, you know. Okay. Hooray! We did it, and that TNT barrel is still going. This. <laughs> why does this not disturb? Whoa, look at the shadows. I know, I was just about to say. Time to heave that thing out. Yeah, you know just what? Just throw it into lava. That's, that's a perfect plan. This is what Dagenon deserves. He was mean to us, so he gets more of that after. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Okay. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Here we go. Got the key, boys. Or, or girls. Yeah, whoever's Sorry for watching. Like, yeah. I think it, we should look at our analytics sometime and like, see who watches us more. I'm, and I'm, it's gone. All right, so we are officially done with this area. Not really. Not really, of. but for right now, because we've been yeah. in here a long time. Guess what? We're going to give you guys something else. We're going we're gonna to do something else, but... Not before a tail. <gasps> a tail? We're going into some place that's very creepy. Oh no. So, is it I thought I'd tell. <laughs> creepy castle? No. Ah, you said it was creepy. No. You're throwing the, people this, off. This place is very frantic. Oh, okay. Um, anyway. Go straight down. Oh, we could do a tiny banana maybe. Oh no, we have a diddy. Uh, anyway. So here's what's, here's the thing. I'm gonna tell a creepy tale. Okay. Um, basically, we, we love creepy tales. I can't do this right now. Actually, I for, we gotta get another move. Um, just this, this. Um, it was Sunday. Okay. Okay. So, very creepy day. You started. I, was just, <laughs> I don't know. I just woke up feeling creepy. I was just like, this is gonna be a creepy day. And then I woke up, and I was just kind of like, a, something about me. Um, I don't wake up very well. Yeah, it takes me. A, <laughs> it takes me a very long time to wake up. I I, I spend at least um, uh, probably the half an hour to even get awake to get my thoughts straight. After a half an hour, I can kind of um, I can kind of get my thoughts straight. But before that, I am nothing. I am just a cranky mess. Um, but there was something that woke me up very quickly. I was in bed. I was um, looking at my covers because. They were just like all white and stuff, so I could see like anything moving on them. And then out of nowhere comes this stinking biggest, fastest spider <laughs> I've ever seen. It's like flying across my covers right alongside <laughs> my leg. <laughs> it was not quite touching it, but it was like right, right on the covers, and I was like, <laughs> I made like a kind of a mooing sound. I kind of turned into a cow for a split second. Because <laughs> you and know. I, like, I flipped the covers off and I rolled onto the floor. I was not expecting to do this, but <laughs> I am apparently an arachnophobe because I flipped right onto the floor and I was not afraid of getting hurt or anything. <laughs> it was I was afraid of the spider touching you. Yeah, the spider touching you is a more of a threat. I know, it was. Now here's the creepy thing. I flip off, all the covers come down on me, so the spider's on me somewhere. <laughs> So I'm like doing a dance. <laughs> Remember, I'm not really awake yet, but I'm just like <laughs> that woke me up. And then, and then I, it it calms, and this calming music right here starts playing okay. very loudly. That wouldn't calm me down. It would be kind of creepy. But it was anyway in my mind, and I was just like, everything is now at peace, <laughs> except. You know that feeling when you miss a spider and then it's gone. Yeah. But you know it's still in the room. It's in the room somewhere. <laughs> and, you don't and know it's where. it's <laughs> big and black. And you don't even have any socks on. Or a bazooka. Or, or pants on at this point. Oh, that's nice. I know. It was bad. But, so I was very unprepared for taking down a spider. <laughs> but, and that, that'll play into the story later. It's just not a random detail. I shake out the uh, sheets and um, the boy, everything was off my bed. So I'm just like shaking it all <laughs> off, there's nothing. I can't find anything, this spider is absolutely gone. And this was a big scary one, it's not one that you let go, this is one that you kill right away. <laughs> or you will die. Cause what, it's like about as big as your face. Oh yeah, it was like 10 feet tall. Yeah, so. My face is 10 feet tall. How those things anyway. can hide, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. But they, they did. Anyway, I was like, okay, I've got to let this go. I've got to go on with my morning. So I, I keep going on with my morning, but I get the creepy crawlies all through like the next two hours. Yeah. Um, so I get I get my breakfast. I do my morning routine. I take a shower, everything like that, and uh, everything's fine. So I come back about two hours later, back into my room, and I'm just like, okay, I know what's in here somewhere, and it's freaky because I cannot see it. I can't find it anywhere that entire morning, but I come back. And I'm just like, okay, I, at this point I need to put on pants. So I open the drawer to put on my pants. What should come out of that drawer? 
right up on near the handle where my hand is. But the biggest spider I had <laughs> ever seen. And it was just like, yo, you thought I was gone, but I was hiding in your pants. And I was just like, no, not in my pants. That is unacceptable. I this is really weird. It's even I worse than ants in your pants, guys. I know. So And I needed to put on my pants because we were leaving in about 15 minutes. Maybe the spider got all the ants out of the pants for you. I know. And it was just like, yo, dude, you cannot do this. You cannot put on your pants because guess what? And I was like, what? And, and all this time I was edging towards this box of wet wipes that I had. The to secret clean up weapon. Things, the secret weapon, just in case spiders came. And he didn't see it coming. Nope. And I got that box of wet wipes and he was like, Little did you know, Flash, that I am a genie spider. And it was like, I watched this thing. <laughs> and it disappeared into thin air. I'm not joking. This, this spider is either the Flash, it can move so fast, or... Spider-Man? No. That would be, that's a pun, but it was a genie. It was a genie. Okay. It was a genie spider. Cause it was like, a genie. genie. <laughs> it was like, boom, and it was gone. And I watched it happen, and I was like, what? But it made me mad. And this whole time, Yumi was like counseling me through the door. <laughs> I wouldn't let her come in because the spider had, had full control of my pants across the room at that point. Well, and it was not letting me get them. And, and Yumi was in the... I was, was <laughs> I was getting ready in and the, like see the, <laughs> the bathroom <laughs> the bathroom is on the other side of my wall yeah and if you talk really loudly you can hear each other through there so she was like brushing her hair in the bathroom and I was trying to get my pants on and we were like conversing and she was walking me through what to do <laughs> and um but then this genie spider did not expect me to do this <laughs> It disappeared, and then I grabbed the drawer and I pulled it out further because I wanted that thing to spook and like run out the side. <laughs> but as I pulled it, all of a sudden it was on the side and the door hinge, not the door hinge, but the place where the drawer meets the edge of the um, dresser, mm -hmm. it, that grinding spot, it took one of its legs off. Ooh. And so it was like, yeah, you have fatally injured me, Flash. And it <laughs> tried to crawl away, but it was going slower because it wasn't a genie spider at this point. I had, I had un, yeah. undone its genie powers. And it was just like, I'm trying to go. And it was going into the dresser where I could never get it again. And I just like flashed out that wet wipe. And I was like, boom. <laughs> and it was like one hit KO. And it, all of its genie powers like exploded into fireworks all over the room. Whoa. And it was like, you have defeated me, Flash. But you have not seen the last of me. Whoa. I will come back someday. Oh, no. So we're waiting to throw to that genie waiting. spider. You know, it's just kind of too bad, because if he's a genie spider, he could have given you three wishes. I didn't think of that. I was kind of <laughs> too concerned with killing him. I think I wish he would never return again. <laughs> but I'm not kidding. It disappeared into thin air twice. And it was really weird, because I watched it. And it's like you watch it, and then the next frame of your vision, it was gone. Oh, man. It was very Those strange. It was very fast. I'm scared of spiders, too. Okay, so... Leave a comment if you've had a spider experience. We have a lot of those tales. Apparently. Clumsy's very happy about this. Spider tales make him happy. Yes, he, he loves Nintendo tales. Clumsy's our biggest fan. Yeah, really, literally our biggest. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. So this is going to raise up. That's important. It, as a kid, it took me a long time. Rareware is quite good at doing this. Whoa. They'll show you one area and that it's open, and then you're supposed to find it. Yeah, go find it now. As a kid, I used to spend hours running around these islands. Some of my fondest memories are just running around DK Island for hours, trying to find these worlds that had opened. But we know it's on Cruel's Floating Island, which yeah. we have not been on yet. Okay, so it's about to get creepy up in here. Um, I, the one that really got me was, um, that's right, we're going to go right there. I'm just going to explore on. Um, anyway, the one that really got me was um, Mad Monster Mansion from Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah. We literally stopped playing that game for about three or four years. Because we could not find that anywhere. <laughs> and, and I was mad about it. And we didn't just go on the internet to look for things back then. See, it was in a really dark corner of a room. There was a passageway that you could find it. But our old TVs... Yeah. Um, when something was dark like this, even right here, you could not see anything. On this island, Cruel's Island, except when lightning flashed. 
Yeah. So it was this whole thing was black. I'm not even joking. On our old TV. Yeah, run between the light and flashes. It was like a, one of those 13-inch box TVs. Yeah. From the 90s. I think one of the Kremlings like took me by surprise once I only saw it running at me when the lightning flashed. It's really, it was really weird. Yeah. How that worked. I see one of Lanky's bananas over there. I'm gonna see if I can get that really quick. Um, well, uh, I tell just one more tale for this episode. I just wanted to mention, of course, Cruel's Island Music is like DK's and only in a minor evil kind of... Yeah, Grant Kirkhope is very good at doing that. He can change the, um, change the feel of a peaceful thing. Yeah. Just by putting it in a minor key and going slower. I mean, it's a pretty basic idea, but it's, it's awesome every time. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna tell you a tale about something that was not very peaceful. Like bats flying around. These segues are bad. Because this tale has nothing to do with whatever I'm saying. But anyway, um, this was a tale that includes uh, B. Oh, uh, do you remember B from the last Let's Play? You, went, that, you uh, went to his house? Yeah, and he had that giant dad and all that. Yeah. It was all awesome, okay? This was the coolest thing ever. So uh, me and B at this point were walking downtown. Our, our family still had the daycare, but I was, I was probably six or seven at this point. So it was about 13 years ago. Um, let's dance. <laughs> Um, and, um, we were all walking, and I had another friend with me, and his name was, uh, you say the first thing that comes into your head. Splash. Ooh. <laughs> so, me and me and Splash <laughs> were walking down the street. And, uh, Splash, Splash was a kid that knew a lot of cool things. Like how to make a big splash. Yeah, well, the thing is, he knew all the secrets of life that we didn't know. He was a farm kid, and we were city slickers. Yeah. And Splash knew about tons of things that we didn't know about, so it was always fun to talk to him. Anyway, us three were walking up ahead of the group, and um, we were uh, right by a busy highway. Uh, runs right through the town. It's the only reason that our town is on the map. Anyway, this is a pretty decently sized highway, and uh, lots of semis go down it. Mm -hmm. And Splash is just like, yo guys. Did you know that you can make semis honk? <laughs> and I was like, what? You can make semis honk? Don't you have to be inside there? And he's like, no. Here's all you have to do. Take your hand up in the air and pump your fist up and down like this. And you can't see me doing it, but I'm doing <laughs> it. And you just basically take it and put it in like your uh, curled arm position and pump it up and down. It was like a fist pump. And I was like, how does that make semis honk? And he's like, I'm gonna show you some magic, kid. And Splash... At this point, Splash was, like, doing some creepy weirdo magic. He did this, and all of a sudden, the semi that was driving down really close to us let off this huge hog. And it was, like, massive. And I was like, what did you just do? Meanwhile, I'm walking up ahead with everybody else and our parents and everything, and we're just like, what? You know, because that was really loud right next to us, and we're like, what is going on? So at this point, Splash was like, okay, we got to play it cool. And they're walking behind everybody. So. Or I, yeah, I guess we were behind at that point. Not ahead. But anyway, then Splash was like, okay, play it cool. We don't want them to know that I just did that. And I was like, what are you, what are you doing? How are you controlling these semis? <laughs> and he was just like, watch this. So we, we lay off for about a minute so that people won't think about it. But then three semis pull up. And he, <laughs> and he was just like, get ready. And he started like doing it furiously. And this time me and B joined in because we were like, okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> and the entire, we were right near the light in the intersection. The entire thing was filled with these huge hogs. And it was hilarious. I didn't know what was happening at that point. I just knew that we could somehow control the semis. And I was very confused because not only one semi just honked, but then two and then three, and I'm like, what in the world? And, <laughs> and then, they were blaring on it. And we turned around and we saw Flash <laughs> and B and Splash all laughing their heads off. And we then were controlling them. At that point, our dad figured out what was going on, and he told them to stop. <laughs> we got in trouble. Yeah, because, man, that it's was... It's actually illegal to do this. I'll tell you what was happening, in case you're not, like, a you better country kid like... You move um, while you're talking. Yeah, because we got to get here. But anyway, um, if you're not a country kid like Splash, you don't know this. Mm -mm. But um, if you do that, it's apparently a universal a pact between semi-drivers and kids. <laughs> that they will honk their horns if you give them the signal to do it. Yeah. They know that kids love it. And I don't know how all of them know this, but if you do that to them from the sidewalk, <laughs> every one of them will do it. And it's illegal. 
and you can't honk without a reason. The semi honks apparently scare people, and it's illegal around here. It but did scare me. Yeah, but they do it anyway. Parents. You can control the semis, and this blew my mind. I loved it. Oh man, I did that a lot as a kid too. Just yeah. saying. Um, anyway, that was a very fond memory that I have of me and Splash and B. We had a lot of fun that day. We, <laughs> everybody at that intersection in downtown, the busiest place downtown, was wondering what was going on. Yeah. We were like lighting up that entire place. Naughty with our boys. Magic of like controlling some eyes. Okay, so there will probably be more tales of Splash and B in it, so you just stay tuned. All right. Meanwhile, I'm having a flashback to while I was a child and I can't find my way around. I'm gonna go up and uh, make sure this next area is open, and then um, we're gonna cut the episode there. By the way, bats are really annoying. And the camera is acting like a very 64 camera. Yeah, come on. Come it's on. It's a 64 game. I can't. Never mind, just. There we go. Okay. Yeah. There. Um, I don't think we have to go across those vines anyway. I think that's to something else. So well, if we go up here, we should be good. Yeah, it was around the middle. Yeah, somewhere around there. This is actually quite a tall island. If I do say so myself, that it's is. It's gotta be sense. right around there. Um, up a little higher. It probably. should be up here, right here. Um, this was my favorite area as a kid. I spent untold hours running around in this level. And I just, I can't wait to share this experience with y'all. Right. I'm so excited. I've been waiting to do this ever since Flash first started. Wow. I think it's up here. This moment. I think it's up here somewhere. Or is it? This is a really dark place. It is. Imagine how it was on our old TV. <laughs> Where is this? It's gotta be here. Aha! Oh, the the portal. Act I mean, the banana port. Okay. Activate right. the port. Oh, Where, great. You right. better see what you're doing. There you there go. There we go. Okay. Um, These sorry, we're just trying to figure this out, you guys. A different color. Okay, we're in. Okay, here's the hear lobby. This. Hear that tick tocking? Oh, see that machine and zinger? Mechanical zinger. You know what's Get up. The guns. Booyah! I think it actually takes two hits. Am I mistaken on that? I, think uh, it does. I don't know. Anyway, if you uh, you can't open that until you get the mystery con. Yeah, the mystery. Which is in the next con. episode. So. Here's B Locker. B Locker. B Locker. Get out of here. Come on, I haven't got all day. Show me the bananas, and I'm out of this dump. Okay. Here we go. There we go. So, uh, in the next episode. I'm gonna just cut it when we go right into the portal. That would be amazing. Uh, so, but then, but then we won't get that scene of the panoramic view. And, well, not the panoramic. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the level, and then we're gonna go. Here we go. And I think it might also show a cutscene. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yumi's doing the finger thing. <laughs> so, apparently, Claptrap on Strats TV. There's one of them cogs. Get him! <laughs> hey, catch me if you can! <laughs> Hey, this kid's quick. What's the thing on his back? Okay, you two morons. Here's your chance. Oh! And Claptrap's like, Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> so uh, apparently what happened there is... Here we go. Out of the way. Frantic Factory. This place. I love this place. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just saying. Um... We told two cool tales, I hope, and we're going to see you guys next time when we head deeper into Frantic Factory. See you guys then. See ya.